Welcome back, Grade 7 students. And for our Quarter 1, Module 2, it will be divided into two lessons. Our first lesson is all about the introduction about Venn diagram. Again, I'm your teacher for today. I'm Mr. April Ray Salisi. Our Quarter 1, Module 2 is all about solving problems involving sets using Venn diagram. And after this video lesson, you are expected to use Venn diagram to represent sets, subsets, union and intersection of sets, and the difference of two sets. Let us now define what is Venn diagram. Venn diagram is an illustration in which shapes most commonly circles represent groups of items usually sharing common characteristics. It is used for visualizing logical relationships. Most importantly, it can be used in solving problems that often encountered. Venn diagrams are used to illustrate various operations like union, intersection, and difference of two sets. We can express the relationship among sets through this in a more significant way. You can use any geometrical shapes, but in this lesson, we'll be using rectangle to represent universal set and circles to represent other subsets of the universal set. Let's have now Venn diagram representation. In a given Venn diagram, we can see that set B is inside set A. So set B is a subset of set A since all the elements of set B are contained in set A. Again, set B is a subset of set A. In the given figure, if we're going to list the elements of set A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the elements of B are 2, 4, 6. So we can say that set B is a subset of set A since all the elements of set B can be found in set A. The next Venn diagram representation is what we call disjoint sets, sets with no common elements. So the given figure represent disjoint sets. Set C and set D are disjoint sets. In our example, we have set C and set D. As we can see, they don't have common elements. So we can say again that set C and set D are disjoint sets. For our third Venn diagram representation is what we call the union of sets. Combination of elements on two or more sets. In a given figure, all the shaded area in both set E and set F are the union of the two sets. Now, we're going to find the union of set E and set F. So the elements of set E and set F, all you have to do, we have to combine them. So E union F equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, to get the union of sets, all you have to do is combine the elements. Intersection is the next Venn diagram representation. Intersection of sets, elements common on two or more sets. In the given figure, all the shaded area or all the elements found in the shaded area are the intersection of set H and set I. For our example, again, we have set H and set I. So H intersection I are the elements found common to them. In the given figure, our answer or the intersection are 2 and 4. Moving on, the Venn diagram represents the difference of two sets or J minus K. All the elements found in the shaded area is what we call J minus K or the difference of two sets, elements found in J but not in K. Now, for our example, we have again set J and set K. So we have to find J minus K. So all the elements found in set J but not found in set K. So we have 1, 3, and 5. How about K minus J? So this time, all the elements found in set K but not in set J. So K minus J equals 6 and 7. 
Lastly, we have now what we call the complement of set. Complement of a set, set of elements found on universal set but not in a given set. In a given figure, all the elements found in the rectangle or our universal set are the shaded area are what we call the complement of set. In our example, we have here set U, our universal set containing elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and set L contains elements 1, 4. So all you have to do to find the complement of set L, you have to find the elements found in universal set but not in set L. So the complement of set L are 2, 3, and 5. Let's have now our example number one, represent the following sets using Venn diagram. Our universal set U, X such as X elements are counting numbers less than 10. Then we have set A and set B. The first thing we're going to do is to draw a rectangle to represent our universal set. Then notice our subsets A and B. They are having intersection or they have common elements. So in drawing circles, they are overlapping since they have intersection. So we have set A and set B. Then place the elements 3, 4 in the intersection part of set A and set B. Then the remaining elements of set A. 1 and 2, place them on the part for set A only or A minus B. Then the remaining parts for set B are 5, 6, 7. Place them in the B minus A or B only. Then the remaining elements found on our universal set which are 8 and 9 place them on the rectangle outside the circle. Let's have now another example. Again, we have to represent the following sets using Venn diagram. We have set X, set Y, and set Z. The first thing we're going to do is to draw a rectangle to represent our universal set or all the elements under discussion can be found in the rectangle. Then we notice that set X, Y, and Z have common element which is E. So in drawing our circles, they are overlapping with each other. So we have set X, Y, and Z. Now, write set E in the intersection of the three sets. Then notice set X and set Y, they have common elements which is D. So place it in the intersection of set X and Y. Then set Y and set Z, they have common element which is F, place it in the intersection of set Y and F. Then the remaining elements of set X, A, B, C, write it in the part or in the region for X only. Then the remaining element of set Y which is G, write it in the region or in the section for Y only. Then lastly, the remaining elements of set C, which is H, write it in the region or the section for Z only. So that is how we represent the sets using Venn diagram. I would like to congratulate you in participating our first lesson. You can now proceed to the next lesson.